hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys we carry on with reports from the presidential election petition tribunal as you guys know malam buhari and uh, atiku abubaka are presently engrossed in a bitter battle for the very heart and soul of the nigerian state and they sit in the asuroka villa uh, at that tribunal so yesterday i brought you a video about Ab abakwari um malam buhari's right hand man uh, at admitting at the panel that he did not submit any uh, certificates as part of the documentations that he submitted to INEC uh, to indicate and to signal that uh, Malam Buhari was uh, vying for the presidency. So now, off the back of that, I bring you this. Waek Deputy Registrar disowns President Buhari's Cambridge credentials during cross-examination. So that's the headline. Waek Deputy Registrar disowns President Buhari's Cambridge credentials during cross-examination. So now to the body of it, the Deputy Registrar of the West African Examination Council, WAEC, Oshidende Adewomi, on Wednesday, July 31st, 2019, disowned the Cambridge University Moderated International uh, Examination credentials produced by President Mohamed Buhari and tendered as exhibits before the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja. Buhari's statement of results and also the broadsheet for the results of 18 candidates who sat for the examination in 1961 were earlier admitted in evidence as exhibits 19 and 21. Adewomi, who was subpoenaed to appear before the Justice Mohamed Gaba led five member panel, uh, admitted to the presidential election petition tribunal that he, in his capacity as a WIAC official, certified one of the documents bearing the name of the University of Cambridge moderated examination earlier tendered as exhibit marked R21. He made this admission whilst being cross-examined by the Council for the All Progressive Congress, Latif Fagbemi San. Adewumi appeared as Buhari's fourth defense witness in the petition filed by the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, challenging Buhari's victory at the February 23, 2019 election. Part of the grants of the petition filed by PDP and Atiku Abubakar was that President Buhari lacked the educational qualification to contest for the presidential election. Adewumi, whilst being cross-examined by the Council for the APC, told the tribunal that he had been working with WAEC for about 30 years. He added that the examination was conducted by Cambridge University in conjunction with WAEC. He further confirmed that 18 people sat for the examination in 1961, adding that Buhari was listed number two on the list of candidates for the examination. He also confirmed that Buhari sat for eight subjects and had five credits in the examination. Oral English C5, History A3, Geography C6, Hausa C5 and Health Science C6. He added that Buhari came out with aggregate score 32 and was categorized in grade 2. He went on to confirm that whoever has this result, the R21 exhibit, has secondary education. However, when being cross-examined by the counsel to the PDP and Atiku, Levi Useoku San, Adeomi was asked if Exhibit R19 was a, a certificate and he replied, I cannot say whether it is a certificate because my signature is not on the certificate. It is not bearing my name or the name of my organization. Asked again, the witness Adeomi said, this this document is bearing the name of Cambridge University Assessment International Education. Asked if the document was issued by WAEC, he said it is not a document from the West African Examination Council. 
Asked about Exhibit R21, he said, This is the foundation, the primary foundation for issuance of a certificate. The witness was also asked if the document was a certificate, and he replied, This is not a certificate. So that was his reply, This is not a certificate. When asked if he had ever worked in the University of Cambridge, he answered, I have never worked with the University of Cambridge. In his bid to point out contradictions in the two documents, the petitioner's lawyer, Livy Uzoko-san, asked the witness to compare the numbers of subjects listed against Buhari's name in both documents. The witness confirmed that in Exhibit R21, the number of subjects listed against the second respondent, Buhari's, is 8, and in Exhibit R19, only 6 subjects were listed against his name. Adeomi also confirmed that the first name on the document was Mohammed not, and not the president's name, Mohammedu. So a document, a, a, a certificate that does not bear the name effectively is what he's saying because the, the, the name on the uh, first certificate was Mohammed, which is M O H A M E D, and uh, President Buhari's first name, of course, is Mohammedu, which is M U H A double M A. DU. So completely different names, you know, completely enunciations and spellings of this, of different names effectively. And if you are saying the name of your of your on your certificates does not correlate or corroborate with your or corroborate rather, however you choose to pronounce that word, with the name on your birth certificate, then really that uh, certificate of qualification is not fit for purpose because I mean what more or where more will your name be spelled correctly than on a school living certificate i mean it's just this is now the territory we're in now we're in now in cloud cuckoo land we're away with the fairies on this one so let's carry on asked if he knew one dr ee wadie adeome said he does and identified him as the current registrar of a uh, waek asked if he was aware that Dr. Iyi issued a WAEC attestation certificate to Buhari in November 2, 2019. The witness said, yes, I am aware. However, he said it was not true that such attestation could only be given when a, ca a candidate misplaced or lost his certificates. So now this is now the going on now that we now have. Now, I think what we have heard in just these two last uh, installments that we've been reporting this is sufficient enough to nullify Buhari's candidature at uh, for the 2019 for the February 23rd 2019 election because clearly the guy did not submit or his team did not submit the requirements of uh, INEC to, to be a candidate for that election and not just the requirements of INEC but the requirement of the Nigerian constitution so clearly and patently these uh, credentials were not submitted so we've now had two installments now of our uh, witnesses uh ooming and erring and telling fanciful stories you have a certificate is you have a certificate and here it is this is what you do if you are going to say you are going to go and do some uh, program in some place and they ask you to go and bring what qualifies you to enter into that program you would you then go there and start telling them long tales of uh how the dog ate your homework and all this sort of listen to what we're having to contend with so this guy is now telling us eh, eh, but it's from crane bridge but why uh, why uh, corroborated it but it's not a certificate but it's an assessment but we can say it is a certificate but it doesn't actually satisfy anything but his name is not written on it oh. so you look at look at all this double dodge that we are hearing from all these people just on the simplest of thing of saying did this man at least 
things they have records so if this man if you if, if, if he took and and, and and he was awarded this sort of uh, uh, credentials that, that the Nigerian state is is requiring then just 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 let's have it if it's misplaced and we can understand that a man of body's age would not have all of the documentations of his youth but the records would be wherever it is that those documentations emerged from so if those documentations are emerging from uh, INEC the, uh, from WAEC rather then WAEC should be able to then bring out the, from their log books uh, uh, a record because there's nobody on the whole of the planet of uh, or the continent rather of Africa that should be keeping records more than uh, WAEC because that is their sole primary purpose to keep record is an educational institution so anybody if anybody should understand record keeping and how to keep record it should be WAEC and Malam Buhari is not that long ago that he took the exams that they cannot now go through their records to find these certificates so go and bring us all these things so we can see it and go on to the next argument as to why we do not want this guy as our president because even if, if because if it's the case that he's not even qualified to run uh, for, for that post in the first instance having failed at the first hurdle of being able to produce all the documentations required by the constitution then effectively his, his position is void his position is voided and he cannot carry on and it really needs to be cancelled from as far back as 2015 and then we have to consider Oshibanjo as the president for that period and then have either a rerun of the elections or or, or those declare article or whatever but this guy clearly has not met with the constitution and all the witnesses are saying so because this is a hostile witness by the way this is a witness that has been brought to support Buhari so this is a APC witness and a Malam Buhari witness saying that he cannot uh, put his reputation on the line to say that this guy has this thing when he cannot verify that he does and he is at the heart of whether verification uh, should and, and could and should take place and we had Abba Kwari who said he cannot put his reputation on the line to, to, to say that he presented something that he did not present so these are hostile witnesses and the information that we're hearing from them is not something to undermine Buhari because their, their job there is to promote and enhance Buhari so we're not getting all this information from this type of people then it's a continuing cause for worry conversations in the comment section is what i am inviting malam buhari should we even be there and really should we need to should, should the panel off the back of all this information that they have now had come to a judgment quickly and uh then um, and make a pronouncement as to the course of direction of that nation called nigeria because this is a new precedence that is about to be set now where the constitution is about to be set aside to allow somebody that has not met with the requirements to carry on with the in a position that a lot of people are of the view that he is not fit for so now this is now what is at play now come have a chat with me about all this in the comment section but before you come have that chat with me about all this in the comment section click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come have a chat about all this with me in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry on with you in the comment section but here i say peace